I've got some of this Corosil here that's supposed to convert rust into some kind of substance that won't rust anymore. And we're going to try it out on these cast iron weights. So let's see how it goes. Now, first thing I'm going to do is clean the weights with this brake parts cleaner. And we already used a wire brush and some Dawn and uh, scraped off all the loose rust. So apparently the dog has seen me cleaning up these weights and he decided he was going to clean up his gravy bowl. So we had some McDonald's this morning and he's cleaning that up. Oh, well, he's not. He's standing right there. Oh. Or sitting right there. Well, he was cleaning up the gravy bowl. <laughs> now he's relaxing. Clean gravy bowl. Dog relaxing. I've sprayed the weights off of brake cleaner and we're just letting them dry. This is actually the side that was down once I flipped them over. And now we have Boots the cat checking things out, so yeah. Alright, per the instructions, I'm going to shake this up real good before we pour it. And then I'm going to pour it into a clean cup. And then we got a paintbrush we're going to use. All right, so we got a brand new clean brush. And the consistency of this is a little thinner than what I thought it would be, judging from what people said. But we'll see how it goes. And. Per their recommendations, you're supposed to go pretty thick with it. And like I said earlier, we did clean and wire brush these weights. And then we just got done doing the brick cleaner on them and let them dry really good. For about 30 minutes until there was no brake cleaner residue. And I think what we're trying to see is after a few minutes, it should be getting a gray haze. Or a purplish haze, I guess I should say. But we'll see what happens. I'm just going to work it down in all of these little crevices. sides really good and then once it dries and I might do a couple of coats I'm gonna flip them over and repeat the process on the other side and hopefully I've done this properly but I guess we'll find out in about uh, an hour or two all right I got these three done it's pulled a lot on the in inner part of the weight because I was trying to make sure to get the raised lettering of the weeder barbells. And now my wife is attempting to do uh, these. And I'm sure she'll do fine. But we'll see how it goes. She does not want to be shown on camera, so you get to see, uh, yeah, a gloved hand. But I assure you, that's my woman. She's not fake. So we've noticed that this smaller weight has turned black on the surface. Um, the part where it's pulled up, I'm not really sure what to do, but uh, yeah, it appears to be working like we hoped it would. 
All right, so now we have Chase doing his first uh, weight. And we figured me and Beck would do the majority of this first side of the weights. And then once we have the process down, Chase is going to take over and do the other side of the weights in a few hours. Busy filming. Okay, so we have done the top part of all of these dumbbells here, or barbells, I guess I should say. And they're looking pretty good. The, the purplish haze that you see inside is simply where it pulled up whenever we were painting it. But this outer edge right here has dried and you can tell the cast iron has soaked it in. So see, that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good coating. And we have already brought out the collars and decided to do them. And then we've got this bar here. The ends of it was rusted. So we just decided, hey, let's give it a whirl. And if you look, there's no brown. And there was like brown streaks where the barbells had sat. You can see where the paint is scarred up. But that cured really fast because it's a small surface area. So we're really pleased with this stuff. It was a little expensive, but We've probably only used maybe a cup and a half, and I doubt we're gonna use much more than that. Um, and we've decided to go ahead and try it on these 25 pounders that were painted to begin with. Hammer coated, I think they call it, and that's flaking off. According to the manufacturer, you can put it over top of painted surfaces. It won't really convert anything but it's not going to hurt anything either so we'll see how that works all right so here is the first of the 25 pounders that was painted and that one was just painted but this one right here in the middle of the screen has not been painted yet because i had sprayed it with brick cleaner last so that's what we've been doing is letting them cure real good and i think we've learned from doing the first set of weights that you really don't have to go very thick the best thing to do is let it cure a little and then add another thin coat so we went crazy at first or at least i feel like we did and went really thick so um i think we're getting the process down right babe yep all right i felt that the original weights that we painted were dry enough so i flipped them over and we're about ready to start on the other side and these 25 pounders you can see the rusty spots that were on there are getting very black so it's doing what it's supposed to do here's a little bonus trial and we have another one we're going to show you too but she has a rusty spot right here on her door panel of a 20 what is it a 2013 nissan citra and her car is black anyway so we're going to give it a shot and see what it does and then spray it over with some sealant and uh, I know this is not necessarily the labeled use for auto but uh, we're not really crazy car people and we would rather stop the rust than let it keep rusting so let's see how it works out all right so she put the first little code in there and where it's so hot uh, it's already starting to react so it's probably about 70 degrees out here maybe a little less but if we're out in the sun it's a black car so wow and we're gonna let wait and see and then put a little more if we need to all right now on top of my 2011 impala that i bought hill damaged you can see all the dents uh, there was a big dent and years ago i put some epoxy down in it and the epoxy has worn away but the the brown that you see right here is not rust it's left over from the epoxy but apparently it rusted underneath the epoxy flaked off so now we're gonna put some of this on this and see what happens for all i know it won't do anything because there might be some epoxy down in there but i did run a wire brush over it so let's see what happens Yeah, all right, so we're in the home stretch of this little project with the weights. Um, 
and you can see we flipped over the 25 the bank's already got started and then once we get the other side of those uh, it's done and you can see all of these barbells are very very black so I think all of the rust got neutralized it's great absolutely great so we're pleased with this Here we can see Beck's vehicle. Um, if I get really close, it did convert the brown rust. So we're gonna get some clear coat. Uh, it come, it's kind of like a, a nail polish bottle and put over top of that. Hopefully it'll protect it. If nothing else, at least it's not a big brown spot. So we're pretty happy about that. And on the hill damaged Impala, we can see that the rust that was in the center there has been converted and still a little bit tacky but not not too bad this brown you see around here is the epoxy that uh, the Sun turned it brown because it was clear epoxy and after I put it on there it said do not use in applications with direct sunlight so uh, but I don't really care about this car I got a really good deal on it uh, there was a hailstorm after a tornado and I bought it with dents and stuff all over it it gets me to work and back and has a lot of features so uh, but now I will be able to cover this up as well and hopefully it'll slow down the rust all right so uh, we're done and we've let it cure and you know everything seems to be looking really good and remember the reason that these 25 pound weights look so different is they are, they had some uh, gray hammer coat on them before with rusty patches so we went ahead and just painted over it doesn't seem like it's had a chemical reaction or anything and as soon as some clear coat or we may even go with some kind of color top coat uh, gets delivered uh, we're gonna do that and this project will be totally finished but from my standpoint from everything we've seen from Coruscant it's pretty good stuff um, I don't have anything bad to say about it I mean it it's made these weights look brand new and I mean everything went on fine and so and we used very little maybe two cups maybe not even that much I'm not sure but uh, we did follow all the recommendations as best we could with the wire brush and the uh, brake uh, cleaner which I think you can use other solvents but we use brake cleaner I will do a follow-up video after we get the paint the top coat in place and uh, the weights get used a little while and we'll see how they held up but for now uh, I think that'll wrap up our video if you want some Cora Seal, I'm going to put a link down in the description to the Amazon page where you can get it. It's about $50 a gallon. And uh, if you like this video, please subscribe. This is not the kind of content I normally do. The things I usually put up are tech videos, but I thought this would be a good thing to try out. And it was just something we were doing anyway. So you guys have a great day and stay safe. See you later. Dog relaxing.